So you've gotten the best scores in your high school. You've even written AP exams. You've written the SAT, gotten above 1500. What more can you do to stand out to a top university in the US? So many students ask me this question and more and more colleges are just coming out and saying it outright that they want to see some sort of research based activities on student profiles. Now, don't get me wrong. The goal here isn't for students to cure cancer or, you know, have this eureka moment where they're discovering something huge, but they want to see that students are able to be, you know, in a rigorous environment, in a disciplined environment where they're doing academic research because it really shows aptitude, intellectual knowledge that colleges seek in student applications. For those of you that are new to the channel, my name is Saloni and I have done my master's from Cornell University. And one of the biggest reasons which I think I actually got into an Ivy League was because of my prior research experience that I demonstrated in my college application when I was applying to Cornell. This research experience stemmed from what I did in undergrad as well as my research in Harvard Medical School that then led to be published in a high impact journal. Now, all of this wasn't just for the sake of my Cornell application. I actually went on to do a lot of different research in various fields during my time at Cornell, one of which was selected for a global public health and I got to meet the entire Clinton family. I worked on diagnostic devices, you know, Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, and I feel like this entire experience of research is something that a lot of students should be exposed to just to learn what this field is about because it does require a lot of discipline and there is a very unique methodology associated with it that everyone should experience. Maybe it might be a good fit for a lot of you that are thinking of a career in this field. Now with this vision of exposing a lot of students, especially in high school to research, Incognito Blueprints launched a research bootcamp last year where they worked with more than 200 students in 20 plus different countries on 35 unique projects. Now students are placed in teams of three to six and are given a custom project where they work on it for a span of eight weeks. The entire method of teaching is this live supervised learning, which means that one, students from any country can participate because everything is virtual. Second, it's a mixture of live sessions combined with recorded classes. So every week you have to watch a set of videos, you have a live session, you're doing assignments with your team, brainstorming while you're building on your technical skill set. You also get to learn a lot of interpersonal skills that are later helpful for students when they go off to college and even later on in their careers. And just as an example, students learn the Scrum methodology, which is a unique project management tools that even I use in my career to this very day. Now, if you're coming to the US, the one thing you cannot forget to buy is a good high quality perfume. Now, this is where I'd like to introduce you to Dossier that have luxury fragrances, both for boys as well as girls. They come in these travel friendly sizes. They're very easy to use, a ton of options to choose from, and they are super affordable. They have these snap-on caps that are easy to carry around, and you guys can use the link in the description to get a discount and get your Dossier perfume. So Incognito Blueprints was kind enough to share the entire process of team allocation so that you guys can have some transparency within the process. So let's say you enroll yourself in the research bootcamp, you are immediately given access to your student dashboard. Within the student dashboard, you have an onboarding form which asks you a list of questions and you also get to select your research category. Students can choose one of three categories, STEM, computer science and non-STEM. So basically there's a spot for no matter what your interest is. Now based on this research category, the team at Incognito Blueprints, you know, defines and puts like-minded students in similar groups. And again, the groups are between three to six students. And when the bootcamp officially kickstarts, a few days prior, you get notifications of who your team members are, a Slack group is made, which is your main mode of communication, and everything kicks off. The project is given as closely to match the student interest as well as the group's combined interest that they then work on for the next eight weeks. The end goal of the research bootcamp is that students have their final research reports ready by the time they complete and they can then submit that for publication. The bootcamp itself gives resources and an entire spreadsheet so that students have various places and to see where a good fit for their particular research topic would be. And students also have the opportunity to get individual evaluations from the entire Incognito Blueprints team. 
The individual evaluation is just based on the fact that you are completing all of the assignments on time and that is how you qualify to get one. In addition to that, all students receive participation certificates for the bootcamp itself. Now I know that these categories of STEM, non-STEM and CS seem very vague and bland, but when the projects are actually crafted, they are very, very specific to the interest of a specific team as well as current societal impact. So some of the examples that you guys can see on your screen are examples of past projects that students have actually worked on. And while this is a virtual research, the projects and the thought process that goes behind and the research methodology all focuses on community impact, which is top priority within the research bootcamp itself. Now, the Incognito Blueprints team is constantly looking for ways to improve their entire program. And one of the you know, I guess things that were lacking in the research bootcamp was one-on-one -on -one interaction, especially for those students that wanted to personally work with a mentor, which is where the ISRP was recently launched. It is a free to apply program and it consists of like an interview stage and an entire application process round two selection. Right now, the acceptance rate for the program is 5%, but if you are selected, you get paired with a mentor, you work one-on-one -on -one towards a specific research that then gets published, students are eligible to get the LORs as well. And it looks great in their profile applications for colleges. So the links to both of these programs are going to be in the description below. The research bootcamp is going to be one of the most unique and you know, fantastic opportunities for students to get involved in that showcases not just technical capabilities, but also shows teamwork, leadership, and the fact that you can work well, especially when you are put in a group with strangers. Now, all of these qualities is something that colleges look out for, and it is a great opportunity for you to get involved. Now, remember that this particular bootcamp is likely going to be the only and last bootcamp of this year. I know many students wait for this opportunity and last year we had two, but I don't think there are going to be two bootcamps this year. This is the only one this summer that is happening and the enrollment is open for a couple more weeks from when this video is launched. So you guys can quickly go and sign up. Remember that when the enrollment closes, it will not be available. So there's no late you know, enrollment because the teams have to be made. It is a live hybrid bootcamp once it starts. They don't let students just enter in. So it'll be closed once and for all. Check out the link in the description and sign up. All right, guys, so that's all that I had for this video. I wanna leave you guys off on a note, which I've kind of recently come to realize, and I would like to call it like the three factor theory. In my opinion, colleges look for three factors when they're looking at student profiles, academics, community involvement, and validation. And I feel like community involvement, validation, as well as academics, this sweet spot that's in the middle is something that the research bootcamp as well as ISRP hits. So, you know, definitely check it out and like the video if you're watching till this point, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one.